Hey all, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. As always, um, yes, there is a new background here, uh, but that's not what we're talking about today. Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to update your Trezor suite that came out with a new update recently. And let's jump in and let's get it started. So once you go to the Trezor website, trezor.io, um, there are multiple ways that you can uh, download the app. But I, I'm going to pull up my app first to show you what it does um, because I've had it on my computer for a while. But you can always scroll down to the bottom. And right here it says Products, Trezor Suite. You can click on that and then download the appropriate app for yourself. So obviously I'm on Mac, get the desktop app. Uh, it shows you Windows, Linux. Um, so there are different options here for you. Um, but let's go ahead and pull up the Trezor Suite that I have on my system. Then it's going to ask me to connect my Trezor. Now I need to put in my pin. So in case you don't know what's going on in this step, I see numbers on my Trezor, but there's only dots here on the screen I'm recording. Um, so that's for security purposes. Enter pin. All right, so then as you can see, it says new Trezor firmware is available. Please update your device. So update now. Update available, and then it gives you, you know, just information on what's all within that update. Click continue. Yes, I do have my recovery seed. Continue. Disconnect your Trezor. All right. You're then going to plug in your Trezor again. Hold both buttons down to load it in boot loader mode. One thing you need to know is make sure to have the cable plugged in first, hold down the two buttons, then stick the other cable into your Mac or your Windows unit um, because otherwise it will think you're wanting to lock your Trezor instead of loading in boot loader mode, okay? So make sure the buttons are pressed before you plug it back in and install firmware. All right, now instructions on the screen say install a new firmware. Never do this without your recovery card. Continue. From here, it's telling me that my firmware is successfully installed. You may now unplug your Trezor, okay? It's unplugged. Reconnect, because we're starting it from the beginning again. And when you reconnect your device, do you realize it may, because it did it, does this for me, uh, it may show you that, hey, disconnect the device to restart it. It may show that screen again, it's okay. Unplug the cable, stick it back in. You might have to actually unplug the cable, not from the computer, but from your device. Just do what you need to do to make it happen, but then it'll, you'll get this success screen, click close. Fantastic, all right. And let's check and make sure that uh, the system is updated here. And then you can go here, scroll to the bottom, and you can see that your sweet version is 21.5.1. All right, so I thought about redoing the video, but I figured, hey, this is a great way to show you where to check your sweet uh, update in the firmware number um, so that you know you're not just updating the Trezor hardware wallet like I just showed you, but you're actually updating this, the Trezor suite, the actual app on your desktop. So um, I sh already showed you how to do the hardware wallet, and then go ahead and pull up the app you're going to come over on over to settings, scroll to the bottom. You're going to see suite version 21.5.1. That is the suite version I have right now. But then go on, go on over to Trezor's website and you can see version 21.7.1. That is the latest update. So go ahead and let's do get desktop app. You're then going to save the actual file or I should say the app itself to download, do that process. Go ahead and open it. Go ahead and slide over. All right, so now let's open up the Trezor suite. By the way, I had to go to the application within my applications folder. All right, and I'm gonna have my pin, enter that in. All right, so it is now updated, but as I mentioned before, let's check, go to settings, 
Uh, let's go to application, scroll to the bottom. There we go. Sweet version 21.7.1. And we can even check for an update. It is all up to date it is where it needs to be, but it's telling me that the firmware in the Trezor needs to be updated. So let's go ahead and do that. Install firmware version. See, this is why it's important to update the app first and then update your Trezor because then you don't have to do it twice like I did. Um, I'm glad you guys can see this, that I'm not even perfect. All right, so disconnect your Trezor and show me what to do. Hold both buttons as I plug it back in. For bootloader mode, okay, install firmware version. Click continue on your Trezor. And from here, let's click close. Fantastic. So now we can see that the suite is updated and then we can also go to um, our actual hardware device, but I have to put in the path, pin code again. And there we go. Everything is updated. And that is how you update your Trezor One hardware wallet. Um, if you guys have any questions, put them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to help you out the best I can. It's pretty simple and straightforward to how you update uh, your products with Trezor, but make sure you verify that firmware version for your Trezor suite, okay? And also, as always guys, if you like the video, like it uh, here on YouTube, subscribe to the channel because I'll be pumping out more content here in the next few months, uh, next few weeks. Um, I'm happy here because I bought a house and I have a space just for my YouTube studio. So there will be more content coming, more gears on the way, and I'm excited to do more content for you guys as the price of crypto is going up. So have a fantastic day. As always, stay safe and enjoy the day you've been blessed with.